Hello and good evening students and welcome back to Global Online Platform. This is Chandni Swarnakar and today, of course today we are going to cover previous year questions from, ah, from British literature of course. This is our first lecture on this particular revision series. You can get my lectures at 9 p.m. on a daily basis. But in the video, before I tell you, I will tell you, December exam is going to be able to do smart preparation for this exam. Global Online is taking you for the English literature complete course in which you will get video lectures with which you will get all the concepts of short and smart and you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF format which you will get all the syllabus notes in PDF हंड्रेड रुपीज है ओके ओके फ्री वीडियोस के एक्सेस के लिए ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन ऐप को आप फटाफट डाउनलोड कर सकते हो सोच सकते हो जाओगे आपके सारे कोर्सेज की जानकारी यहाँ से मिल जाएगी सर्च बार में जा करके कोर्स का नाम लिखोगे तो डायरेक्टली आपको कोर्स का ओवरव्यू आपके सामने आ जाएगा ठीक है इसकी ड्यूरेशन इसकी फीस आ, सब कुछ आपको मिल जाएगी कंटेंट सेक्शन पे क्लिक करते हो तो आपको यूनिट वाइज जो है फोल्डर्स अवेलेबल मिलेंगे हर यूनिट में थ्योरी लेक्चर्स इवेल्युएशन नोट्स मॉक टेस्ट एंड एमसीक्यूज आपको मिलेंगे इसके अलावा आपको कुछ भी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है इसके साथ अगर आप ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन पेड कोर्स को ज्वाइन करते हो तो आपको व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में भी ऐड किया जाएगा जहां पर हर एक सेशन की पीडीएफ आप लोगों के साथ में प्रोवाइड करवाई जाएगी राइट ना मूविंग ऑन टू आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट Say of course uh, you have to match list one to list two, okay? So these are the lines and these are the writers that you have to match, okay? With now, uh, let's read the options first. So the first option is faces along the bar slash cling to their average day, okay? And the second, the awful daring of a moment surrender. Bent double like old beggars under shacks. Four, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. So see here, face along the bar slash cling to their average day is a line from September, September 1, 100, 1900, September 1, 1939. Okay, so this is a work by Auden, W. H. Auden. Okay. So of course here the the awful daring of a moment surrender is a line from the west line and who wrote the west line all of us know that right west land now t.s Eliot, of course the b here one here two now bent double like all beggars under sex that is uh, actually a line from Dulke et Decorumist. Dulke et Decorumist. And it's a um, work by Wilfred Owen. By whom? Wilfred Owen. So, the first one. Three here. Two here. Three here. Then the last one, of course, will go with uh, the Allen Ginsberg, right? The fourth one. So, all, everything is ready for you to just arrange them, okay? So, A will go with 3, B will go with 2, then C will go with 4, and D will go with 1. Okay, this is the correct answer, correct Match. Moving on. Match list one with list two. So here is uh, here you can see the writers and here you can see the see the words. Okay, and you have to identify them. So let's talk about the works first. Against romanticism is associated with kingly MS. So here we will write one. Right, Haryan Dong, who wrote this? John Wayne, okay, second. Then the Shires, who wrote this one? Donald Devi, who? Donald Devi. So, 
Hari, right? And of course, at the end, the North Ship brought by uh, um, who has written the North Ship? Of course, Philip Larkin. So Philip Larkin, one, four. Okay. So A will go with a three. Then uh, B will go with the fourth one. Then C will go with the first one and D with with second. Right? This is a correct match. Moving on. Match list one with list two. And here for a change, uh, there are works and these are the publishing year. You have to match it. We have already talked about the Westland, Sons and Lovers, because in our previous lecture, mein, प्रीवियस जो सेशन था उसमें हमने इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस कवर किए हुए हैं तो आपको इजी हो जाएगा देखिए टू द लाइट हाउस जो है ना वर्जिनिया वुल्फ ने लिखा है एंड इट वाज 1927 वर्क ओके इट वाज पब्लिश इन 1927 देन सांस एंड लवर्स बहुत बार हमने डिस्कस किया है सो यू डू नॉट नीड टू फॉरगेट एंड ऑफ कोर्स आप भूलोगे नहीं डी एच लॉरेंस का ये वर्क है 1913 का है राइट फिनिगेंस वेक जो है फिनिगेंस वे एक जेम्स जोएस की वर्क है एंड 1939 में पब्लिश करवाई गई है एंड ऑफ कोर्स द बेस्ट लाइन तो टी एस एलेट का वर्क है जो कि 1922 का है तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो ए विल गो विथ द सेकेंड बी विल गो विथ द फर्स्ट एंड सी विल गो विथ विथ वट द थर्ड वन एंड डी विल गो विथ द फोर्थ वन दिस इज द करेक्ट मैच ओके can see here now moving on which among the following is an incomplete poem by pv shelley incomplete poem identify karna hai so first you need to understand these are the works by pv shelley noted down somewhere uske baad kaun sa aisa work hai jo incomplete choda gaya hai pv shelley ke dwara aapko identify karna hai so let me tell you triumph of life was an incomplete work so first option is here and then uh, or to the west wind was a complete queen mob map was a complete one the demon of the following like of the world was a complete work and then the triumph of life ke bare mein jab hum baat karte hain to puri jo hai na ek long fragment fragmented work hai and 547 lines ki hai jo ki aapko yaad rakhni hai for 547 lines ki total jo hai work hai right i mean poem hai So the first one is the correct answer. Moving on, which among the following are true about Harold Pinter? Which among the following are true about Harold Pinter? See the options are: Harold Pinter was born in the year nineteen twenty-five. Ah, uh, this is not the correct one because he was born in nineteen hundred thirty. When nineteen hundred thirty? Do you remember that? Then he was influenced by Samuel Beckett and the Theatre of the Absurd. Of course, he was very much influenced. So this is not the option, correct option. This one is the correct one. Then, the caretaker and the alchemist are his famous play. Of course, the caretaker बहुत famous है, the birthday party बहुत famous है. But alchemist जो है ना वो Ben Jonson का work है, ना कि Harold Pinter का. तो हमारा ये भी option गलत हो जाता है. Then, Stanley is a character in the birthday party. Birthday party of course Stanley का character है और main character ही है. So ये भी जो है करेक्ट है देन बिट्रियल इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ अ मैरिड कपल इज इट यस यस एमा एंड उनके हस्बैंड की स्टोरी है जहाँ पे उनके हस्बैंड के फ्रेंड जेरी हैं उनके साथ उनका अफेयर चल रहा होता है मतलब उनके हस्बैंड का नहीं वाइफ का ठीक है एमा का चल रहा होता है तो ये पूरी जो है मैरिड कपल के अराउंड ही रिवॉल्व करती है सो आई होप यू फाउंड इट ओके सो बी D and E are the correct option. Okay, right? Great. Moving on. Who said there is, there can be, and there ought to be the difference between the language of prose and metrical composition? It's very easy because बहुत बार ये question repeat होता है और बहुत बार पूछा गया है, बहुत बार लोगों ने discuss भी किया है, ठीक है? तो ये बहुत easy है to identify. 
Okay. Who said there is, there can be, and there ought to be the difference between the language of prose and metrical composition? Of course, difference honge. Asa kisne kaha hai? Whether it was John Ryden, William Wordsworth, T. Coleridge, or T. S. Eliot. So, for you all, the correct answer is William Wordsworth. Okay, so second one is the correct answer. Moving on. Question number 120. The deserted village by Oliver Goldsmith. The deserted village पे ना questions बहुत आते हैं तो do remember that okay? तो आपको ये titles पे भी बहुत ज़्यादा focus करने की ज़रूरत होती है कि और deserted village है और the deserted village है और क्या है पूरी जो title है वो क्या है what is that? So the deserted village by Oliver Goldsmith was about what? So the options are critique the rural institutions, second voices revolt of the individual man against institutions or Third, reflects upon different views on the human soul or the fourth one, advocates urbanism over rural backwardness. No, it does not talk about this. It does not talk about human soul. It does not talk about institutions. It was not a kind of revolt, nor voices um, associated with revolt of the individual. It was actually a critique uh, on the rural institutions, rural institutions. Okay, so the first one is the correct answer, right? Moving on, match list 1 with list 2, so these are the writers and these are the works. So Lucky Jim, you know all of them, Lucky Jim has written it, I don't know, I don't need to explain this to you. Lucky Jim was written by King Lee MS and 1954 ki work hai ye, 1954, so this is very easy. Hai. Then the History Man, jo hai na, History Man uh, is a work by Malcolm Bradbury, then uh, masters, who wrote masters? This is the masters, not the only masters, okay? The masters, Vijay Thalapati. Masters. And I like movie, hai, master. So uh, it was written by C.P. Snow. Right? And then, this Lucky Jim ka publishing year is it's very important for you to remember that. Then, changing places, of course, uh, the only option left is David Lodge. And David Lodge's changing places is the first campus novel and if you don't know the campus novel, ka matlab nahi pata, to do search okay? and it's basically related to campus, revolves around campus, okay? the whole story revolves around campus. So I have uh, cleared it out, right? so I hope you will be able to find the correct option because I have not mentioned the options here. Then moving on, under the net which was published in 1954 is written by the only writer you need to find out and these are the options John Falls, Irish Murdoch, Edmund Gouche or William Cooper In this you don't need to do much more than you just need to remember the works of the particular writer If you remember the works of Irish Murdoch ke works kya hai, you will be able to uh, answer these questions very easily John Falls ke yaad hai, unke questions if you remember the questions then it will be very easy Edmund Gouche ke bhi aapko yaad rakhne hai, William Cooper ke yaad rakhne hai. So, Under the Net was written by Irish Murdoch. The correct answer is the second option. Okay, moving on. Who among the following has authored the atheist tragedy? Spanish tragedy, we know, Thomas Keir has written and a lot of जितने भी works हैं हमें पता है जैसे Thomas Haywood के जो works हैं हमने पहले discuss कर चुके हैं हमने previous uh, session में किया है John Fletcher के अगर आपको नहीं पता John Webster के works हमने discuss किए हैं Cyril Tonyol uh, के works आपको पता होनी चाहिए कौन कौन से हैं ठीक है so this will help you to uh, actually cover the important uh, writers and writers work okay? the previous year questions helps you with that now we have to find out the author. So who is the author? Of course not the John Webster. John Fletcher is not the correct answer or Thomas Haywood of course not. These are not the options. Correct one is the Cyril Tonier. Okay, so Cyril Tonier wrote the atheist tragedy. So just that you need to remember the first option is the correct answer. Then Alfred Lord Tennyson in the following lines. Yet I doubt not through the ages one intriguing purpose runs. And the thoughts of men are widened with the process of the suns. Who wrote these lines? And what is saying in this uh, particularly in this particular lines? Okay, what is the uh, theme or basic idea behind it? So yet I doubt not through the ages one in freezing purpose runs. 
and the thoughts of men are widened with the process of the sun so the options uh, option one is reflects upon secularism second reflects upon evolutionary faith reflects upon utilitarianism or reflects upon materialism materialism basically see these are the lines from locksley hall okay locksley hall i hope you all know that it's a work by by whom hmm? locksley hall jo work hai na wo alfred lord tennyson ka work hai he wrote that and uh, the the specific lines are indicating towards second one reflects upon revolutionary faith so the second one is the correct answer moving on who among the following attached himself to the all of nottingham's theatrical company who among the following attached himself to the all of nottingham theatrical company to agar aapko nottingham theatrical company se confusion ho rahi hai to i must tell you it is also known as the admiral's man the the admiral's men theek hai it is also known as nottingham theatrical company and it is associated with christopher marlow you do not need to consider the other options you just need to know this much that christopher marlow was associated with all of nottingham theatrical company that is also known as admiral's men right moving on j hellas miller or j h miller one of the leading exponents of deconstruction makes a deconstructionist reading of which of the following poems of p b shelley yahan pe bhi aapko zyada kuch karne ki zarurat nahi hai these things are need to be in your head ye kuch facts hote hain jo aapko yaad rakhne hi hote hain there is no in between here okay there is no uh, shortcut here so the options are the triumph of life or to the west wind revolt of islam or the witch of atlas which is the correct answer and i must tell you j h miller ne basically is particular work ke bare mein poem ke bare mein the critic of host as host mein discuss kiya hai the critic as host mein wait a minute the critic as host mein inke bare mein unhone discuss kiya hai i think na the screen uh, somewhere is very problematic fine critic as host to remember that that much okay moving on so the first one is the correct answer the triumph sorry wait a minute i have forgot to mention the correct answer the triumph of life is the correct answer okay moving on who is the author of the poem house of fame it's very easy it's very easy William Langland, Geoffrey Chaucer, Thomas Moore, or Philip Sidney. Of course, Geoffrey Sir Chaucer. The second one is the correct answer. Okay, moving on. Identify the poems termed as pastoral elegies. So, pastoral elegy. If you don't know, do search about it because I have already discussed this, and you need to know it. So, Lycidas, जो है ना ये work है Milton का. मिल्टन का वर्क है एंड दिस इज अ पेस्टोरल एलिजी ओके पी स्टैंड फॉर पेस्टोरल एलिजी आई जस्ट मैं देन इन मेमोरी ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी एच ऑफकोर्स इट वॉज रिटन बाई डब्ल्यू बी फॉर डब्ल्यू बी एच एंड यहाँ पे आपको ध्यान देना है कि इट्स एन एलिजी नॉट अ पेस्टोरल एलिजी ओके एंड दर वॉज रिटन बाई होम डब्ल्यू एच ऑडन ऑडन के द्वारा ये लिखी गई है ओके एडनिश एडनिश वॉज रिटन बाई पी वी शेले okay pv shale and it's a pastoral elegy and that was written for keats for whom for keats okay and it's a pastoral elegy i must tell you so it will be p e so the first one a and c here then thyrishus thyrishus was written by matthew arnold matthew arnold okay matthew arnold and it's um it was written by a h clog this is the spelling h stands for arthur h stands for hugh and this is clog okay and uh, it's a pastoral elegy so the d is also going to be with the options then the last one 
इन मेमोरियम ऑफकोर्स इन मेमोरियम के बारे में आपको पता होगा इट वॉज रिटन बाई एल्फर टेनिजन एंड इट वॉज रिटन फॉर आर्थर ए एच एच ए सैंस फॉर आर्थर एच फॉर हेनरी एंड एच फॉर हलाम ओके एच डबल एल ए एम ओके सो इट्स एन एलर्जी नॉट अ पेस्टोरल एलर्जी ओके सो दिस वन इज दी एलर्जी देन देन विच वन सेकेंड वन इज द एलर्जी सो ए सी एंड डी आर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके दिज आर द पेस्टोरल एलर्जीज यस मूविंग ऑन द बुक वुमेन बिवेर वुमेन वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन द ईयर ओके वुमेन बिवेर वुमेन जो है इट्स अ वेरी फेमस वर्क एंड इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड इट्स अ जेकोबियन ट्रेजडी वॉट इट इज इट इज अ जेकोबियन ट्रेजडी राइट एंड इट वॉज रिटन बाय मिडल्टन थॉमस मिडल्टन Thomas Middleton, and it was published in nineteen hundred sixteen hundred fifty seven. So I must tell you these are the options, which are wrong. And it was published in sixteen hundred fifty seven. Ah, uh, कभी कभी होता है वो questions drop किए जाते हैं तो आपको ये ध्यान रखना है the original one. And अगर इस तरह के question आते हैं ना तो आपको एक पे तो tick करनी ही है क्योंकि वो question drop होगा और आपको हर किसी को ना एक plus point मिल जाता है. and it tells the story of bianca who bianca theek hai and uh, there is another character liancio uh, who is very poor and bianca jo hai iske sath bhag jati hai so the story revolves around both of them moving on who among the following were poet laureates of england who among the following were poet laureates of england whether alfred austin Robert Bridges, Watts, Dunton, or Oscar Wilde. Who? Basically, who? So the correct answer is Alfred Austin, and it was uh, he um, basically considered as a poet laureate of England. And uh, Queen Victoria के तरफ से जो है ना ये सम्मान इनको मिला था. Queen Victoria, okay. what is the lordship under the reign of queen victoria okay so the first one is the correct answer moving on which writer does not belong to the angry young man movement which writer does not belong to the young man movement so i don't know about the options i don't know about the correct answer but let me tell you that uh, there are a lot of writers who belong to angry young man movement for example john osbin of course king lear ms then john auden then edward bond okay doris lessing double s i n g uh, herol pinter is there then david storey storey this is not store this is storey john wain w a i n arnold wesker ओके अनुवेस्क आयरिश मुडॉक ओके दिज आर दी राइटर्स वे एसोसिएटेड विद एंग्री यंग मैन मूवमेंट बट नो वेर फिलिप लॉक एन एंड सीमेंस एनी वॉज कंसिडर्ड सो टू ऑफ दैम ए एंड बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके ए एंड बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग ऑन Should poets bicycle, pump the human heart, or squash it flat? Man's love is of man's life a thing apart. Girls aren't like that. Who wrote this line? I am also very excited to know. I know, but I'm excited to tell you guys. Okay. Um. See, should poets bicycle, pump the human heart, or squash it flat? Man's love is of man's life a thing apart. Girls aren't like that. Who said this? Hmm. Uh, first let me tell you the verb where it was written something something nasty something nasty in the bookshop wait a minute something nasty in the bookshop okay so this is the work and that is written by king lemis 
this is the correct answer okay second one uh, he uh, said this should boys bicycle pump the human heart or squash it flat man's love is of man's life a thing about girls are it like that okay moving on philip sydney's arcadia was influenced by philip sydney's arcadia was influenced by this for this you don't need to uh, work harder because uh, you just need to remember you need to memorize it so the option are spanish romance of montemir the italian paintings of verinos the arthurian legends or the metaphysical poetry so the first one is the correct answer okay first one a is the correct answer right moving on what needs my shakespeare for his honored bones the labor of an age in pile stones or that is hallowed reliquies should be hid under a star a starry pointing pyramid what is the line what needs my shakespeare for his honored bones the labor of an age in pile stones or that is hallowed reliquies should be hid under a starry pointing pyramid okay um so you need to find out the right answer so see first thing you need to remember here is that this is the line from on shakespeare and who wrote on shakespeare you know, it's very easy to find out if you remember it was written in 1630 okay and this is a work by john milton so the correct answer is second one john milton right moving on so who among the following praised chaucer's translation of roman de la rose who praised chaucer for that for the particular work so the um, options are or starch des champs the cashio jean de mion or guillamo de lorish okay so the correct answer is a starch des champs the correct answer okay bikashi somewhere uh, very related to chaucer but you need to find out why it is related to and uh, from what way it was related to okay wo aap jaan lijiyega to cheeze na aasan ho jayegi aapke liye moving on for the unfallen is a book of poems written by for the unfallen is a book of poems written by to so, uh, filal you uh, must have got the idea that you need to uh, memorize the writer's work even uh, if the writer is a minor one okay so who wrote for the unfallen you need to find out that whether it is ted hughes or sylvia plath or geoffrey hill or a e houseman for the unfallen was it written by geoffrey hill wait okay geoffrey hill the third one is the correct answer moving on the princess colin a medley by tennison is the princess colin a medley by tennison is aapko batana hai whether it is a lyric or analogy or narrative poem or dramatic monologue so i hope you understand lyric kya hota hai analogy kya hota hai narrative poem or dramatic monologue dramatic monologue to aap kartik aryan se samajh hi sakte ho कार्तिकारियन है ना आई डोंट रिमेम्बर पंचनामा आई थिंक प्यार का पंचनामा का मूवी वो कह रहे ना नरेटिव पोएम एल जी आपको पता होगा लिरिक अगर आपको नहीं पता डू रीड अबाउट दैट बट द प्रिंसेस कॉल इन अ मेडले इज अ नरेटिव पोएम रिटन बाय टेनिजन एज द क्वेश्चन इज मैंशनिंग है ओके तो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द थर्ड वन द और नरेटिव पोएम मूविंग ऑन Which of the following works is not written by P. B. Shelley? You need to find out which is not written by P. B. Shelley. You have to find out oh, P. B. Shelley's work first. So P. B. Shelley के works में बहुत सारे works आ जाते हैं जैसे uh, To a Skylark, then Adonis, Adonis, a very uh, famous one. The Revolt of Islam was written by P. B. Shelley. Then The Vision of Judgment. See here, don't get confused. The Vision of Judgment was written by Lord Byron. By whom? Lord Byron. But आपको यहाँ पे और भी एक बात ध्यान रखनी है. A Vision of Judgment भी एक work है. A Vision of Judgment. The Vision of Judgment लिखा है Lord Byron ने. But A Vision of Judgment किसने लिखा है? Robert 
साउथ एने किसने रॉबर्ट साउथ एने ग्रेट देन क्वीन मैम कॉल इन अ फिलोसफिकल पोएम इज इसकोस अ वर्क बाय पी वी शैलेट देन मास्क ऑफ एनाकी इज ऑल्सो वर्क बाय पी वी शैले सो द ओनली ऑप्शन हियर दैट इज नॉट रिटन बाय पी वी शैले एंड रिटन बाय लॉर्ड बायरन इज द थर्ड वन द विजन ऑफ जजमेंट विच हैज अन अदर टाइटल नॉट अन अदर टाइटल बट देर इज अ सिमिलर वर्क काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर टाइटल दैट वॉज रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट साउथ डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज द थर्ड वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर Moving on, in whose poem the readers meet Aunt Jennifer's Tigers? See, ये तो बहुत पुरानी मतलब हमने बचपन में भी ये work पढ़ी है. So I hope you do remember that. Tom Gunn, Kamau breath weight. Uh, Kamau is is a kind of word we usually use for the person who are working, who is earning money. और रॉय फिशर और एंड्रीनियर रिच हु इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो एंड जेनिफर टाइगर इज अ वर्क बाय रिटर्न बाय एंड्रीनियर रिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके सो द फोर्थ वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग ऑन हु अमॉन्ग द फॉलोइंग हैज कंपोज द लिरिकल ड्रामा हेलेस हेलेस के बारे में पहले आप एक दो बात समझ जाइए इट वॉज पब्लिश इन 1822 do not do need to remember that and it's a verse drama it's not a simple one it's a verse drama and it was written by p b shelley okay not lord byron william wordsworth not john keats it was written by p b shelley so the second one is the correct answer moving on sir students na you guys are not sir So name the playwright who composed the play of women kill with kindness. It's a very famous play. If you do not know that na I will feel pity for you guys. So the options are Francis Beaumont, Beaumont and Fletcher, Thomas Kead or Thomas Heywood. Thomas uh, Kead I hope you all know the Spanish uh, tragedy I have already mentioned uh, earlier. So uh A woman killed with kindness is a work that was published in 1607, and it's a stage play, and it was a tragedy. Of course, it belongs to tragedy genre, and it was written by Thomas Heywood. Okay, so the fourth one is the correct answer. Moving on. Name the celebrated actor who played the leading role in the first production of John Osborne's The Entertainer, 1957. So the question is itself uh, telling you a lot of facts related to the work. It was published in 1957. It was written by John Osborne. Okay, and of course the first production. Name the celebrated actor who played the leading role in the first production of John Osborne's The Entertainer. you have to find out the actor the celebrated actor whether it is peter brook or laurence olivier or ai pacino or robert de niro it's a three act three act play do remember it okay three act play i just got the glimpse so laurence olivier is the celebrated actor who played the leading role in the first production of john osborne's entertainer 1957 so the second one is the correct answer okay moving on i think this is the last question i'm going to address i recognize that its heroine is a little pricey and its hero a pompous ash but i do not care About which novel of Jane Austen is this statement made by Somerset Maugham? So Somerset Maugham said something like that. Oh wow! About Jane Austen's work, or you have to find out the novel about which he said these lines. Okay? So he said, "I recognize that its heroine is a little pricey and its hero a pompous ass, but I do not care. He does not care." Wait, I'm really sorry. Yeah. So the correct answer is. let me uh address the options pride and prejudice or nodember abbe or sense and sensibility or mansfield park so the correct answer is mansfield park okay about mansfield park 
So I must have Morgan said these lines. Okay. Now, thank you so much for your patience and all the very best. Keep on revising, and I hope this session is helping you out to uh, to identify the questions that uh, can be important for your exam. And uh, keep on revising just that. All the very best.